Oh, so good. George a little bit. Uh, Andrew's all Esh. George is impale. I saw this matchup off screen. Or off stream, rather. Mm -hmm. It seems like... I don't know. It seems like he was getting messed up early on, but kind of figured it out. To yeah, it's been... Like, when uh, Olesh used to be a Falco man. When he was a Falco man, George would kind of own him a little bit. It wasn't super close. Like, like he could win, but it was definitely George favored. Ever since Andrew st uh, switched to Ices, George kind of had a problem with him. It seems like it seems like it's not just like a a, a matchup and like in-game problem. Ices helped George a little bit. It seems like. <laughs> Alright. Nan's dead. You just keep juggling. Yeah. Is that guy in the tent? Flint! Flint! Play stoic, I think? Yeah, no problem. So, Andrew Sopo is really good lately. Uh, and it's always been. But, Sopo, Sopo against Marth. Like, Sopo can kind of cheese out spaces. Sopo can't do a lot against Marth. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. Kind of how it was in a set earlier. Like he was down a little bit at first, and then he came back. And it's also just not a hard rule. Yeah. Uh, Andrew's. I mean, on like, this stage, I think it's really hard for Ices to get it. If Marth plays the platform, it's hard. <laughs> like Andrew, uh, I used to be a Marth man, and Andrew would actually mess me up with his sofa, so he's good enough to do some stuff with it. Just, he just shouldn't be. <laughs> All right. All right. So he's got him desynced. No slip hug. Oh, should down there. They would have killed Nana. Instead, well, he, he he's off the stage. In, he would have been in more lag after that. Yeah, yeah I think you just. That's why I didn't want to kill. I think with the lead, you just take the Nana kill because yeah. the Nana. You yeah, don't I mean, know how many stocks Nana's worth. Like Nana could be worth all four of your stocks, and if you kill her. Like, even if you get hit for it, you're guaranteed not to get wobbled. Yeah, and that's like, like... He was probably scared of the punish after the downer, but it's gotta be more worth it to be scared of the KO. Yeah, but also, he wasn't sure if he was gonna die, he wasn't sure if he would hit. It's more complicated than I'm making it sound, but still. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to play this game. Uh, the forward throw's, why, forward throw's good there, though. Uh, you can't grab the ice. You, you can, you can with Marth. Uh, the forward throw was good there. What he did wrong was he waited too long. So like if you pummel, that gives him time to down smash. So if you grab him, you gotta like immediately down throw a forward throw. You got the up the back throw. Force Andrew to retreat. Okay, he's got him separa separated. It's uh, gotta get Yeah. All right. So Andrew's looking in, looking in big trouble. Looks like George is gonna take game one. Yeah. Comebacks. That was a good hit. Comebacks not really possible. And and Sopo, Marth, honestly. Like even if he somehow cheeses out this stock, he's at 130 with a Sopo. Alright, he's dead. He's just gotta roll. So that's one nothing impale. 
Have you played Andrew yet? Uh, in tournament? I played him in the Falcon only, bro. <laughs> and he wrecked me. Yeah. So he's. Uh, I haven't played his ice system. He's kind of guaranteed to be our, our number one yeah, in Rose Hill. Uh, he's kind of fighting uh, Professor Peen and this guy, Impale, for like the top three spots. They're kind of like our top three players in 717. Uh, he's never been ranked higher than them in his career yet, but he's been on the come up, so. I think this is this is a season. Oh man! So you see how Andrew's doing some. Uh, so like now that he's desynced, he's not. But yeah, he's when he's, he's when using he's using the projectiles. Mm -hmm. So that's good. But also when he's synced up, George is using down tail a lot. So to counter that, what Andrew does that was crazy. What Andrew does is uh, full hop forward air. Because you know it just goes over down tail. And it's like a, it's like a classic Street Fighter type mix-up. So George has to be ready to react all the time for Andrew to jump over his down tilt, and he's got to be ready to switch from down tilt to up tilt or to dash away. Yeah, is that a blizzard in the water? Yep. Yeah, everybody will say like, oh, you can SDI that, but like, yeah. well, that, it's you got to react to it in time. Is the thing. Well, that's part of FD too. Like you're kind of forced. Yeah, you gotta you fight ices. You gotta fight ices on the ground, so it's really scary. Oh! So yeah. It's another wobble. Got the blizzard again. George didn't react in SDI properly. Uh, probably shouldn't be at that... Probably shouldn't be at that range in the first place. But... Like, obviously, like, once this counter pick's gone... Can't take him to FD, so this. Uh -oh. So that's the other thing uh, that's good against Marth, or good about Marth in this matchup. Like he's can't. Like if you get a grab to Sopo and Nana's not synced up. In other ma matchups, Icy's can kind of like do a combo, like a chain grab or at least a tech chase read to re grab and wait for Nana to come back. They don't have that much on Marth, so he just goes for the down down throw up smash. Soft forward smash gets the kill. He's down the stock. Yeah, uh, comeback always, always possible against Icy's, but Andrew's gonna play this real patient. All right, he should be dead. Nope. Andrew maybe messed up his down throw. Uh oh. Andrew, so he has a, ch he has a chance here. To get the if he gets the stock clean and then comes back in the last fight this time. Uh, all right, he's dead. Oh, that was good DI. And these guys jump back. Yeah. All right, he's dead. Is that a crouch hand? Yep. Crouch hand's a first hit. Alright, so that's one one. I agree. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I think we were, we were just talking about this. Whether Yoshi's or Dreamland's better. Me and... Against me and Ices. Teach against Ices, yeah. As, well, as Marth, I think. Oh, he goes for the handoff. I don't know about I that. I wouldn't agree with Dreamland as Marth against Ices, but that's that might just be me. I agree. I don't think Marth's as good as, at camping the platforms as like Falco. Yeah, so like we were talking about it with Falco, because the drawback to Yoshi's is actually what you what you just saw Andrew do. He can short hop forward. Uh, he can short hop forward air, and he can up smash through the side platforms of Yoshi's. So if you're trying to camp an Icy's out, yeah, it's all about the it's all about the platforms from our Dreamline platforms don't help out nearly as much as Yoshi's story platforms. Uh, oh no, yep, smash. It's a four smash. Not quite gonna go. Is that a nano forward air? Hope some as he's trying to edge it. Uh, roll behind. That's another thing you gotta be ready for. Uh, as Marth. It's quick smash attacks. If you're just if you're just kind of shutting your brain off a little bit and down smashing, or not down smashing. If you're shutting your brain off a little bit and down tilting, they can roll behind you. <laughs> so like you actually have to be ready to react to such a stupid option. 
It seems dumb, but like you really do have to be ready for it and think about it. Oh, didn't get the tipper, so he crouch canceled. No, it was good get up attack. Okay. Didn't get anything off the answer because he landed on the platform. Plus 50 Yeah. Oh no, he lost the he lost the ledge stall. He could pick up this edge guard though. No, he needed like any more reads than that. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that was. And then horrible DI. Maybe he was trying to drop through. Uh, oh, she brings it right back. So it's Oh, that was so scary. Andrew's got to get... Alright, he's got Nana back. Oh! No, um... So, so the way wobbling... Yeah, so the way wobbling works is they have to be desynced, right? Because one pummels and the other one down tilts. And that's how, like, wobbling works. What happened there was he got a grab on George at low percent, uh, a percent where George could mas mash out and Nana wasn't uh, together with Popo. So like, you want them desync, but you don't want them separate to wobble, if that makes sense. Like Nana was too far away to come and down tail for him. Oh, he just gave him that. He just gave him the Popo stock. It's so possible if he plays the platform, he doesn't get grabbed from the bottom. So what you'll see, oh, he might be dead. But what you'll see Icy's do is they'll go for like a separate punish if they know they're not going to get the wobble. Yeah, I think that was what he was doing with the dash dance. Oh! So the dash dance? The dash dance there earlier, when he was on the right side of the stage? That's him going for a re-grab, uh, a handoff, because Nana Nana got the grab. He's going for the dash dance grab after. Yeah, because you, uh, you can't wobble when Nana gets the grab. So he's got to hand it off to Popo. Which is kind of hard. Sometimes there's like RNG for which way Nana's gonna throw. Sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's weird. Well, I think if she's closer towards the center of the stage, it's more RNG. If she's like towards the ledge. Yeah, towards the ledge, she always throws towards the edge, it's, it's right? Really, it's really weird. And then it changes uh, with how much percentage Nana takes because she goes up in CPU level. Super complex character. Up smash, up air, yeah. Oh, he could have gotten a down air off that. That was scary. Got him, though. This is an important stock. If George gets that two stock lead, he's feeling way better. Um, but if he gets wobbled, it's a little frustrating because you're like right back where you were. Kind of chilling on the platform. Yep. Oh, that was so good. Alright. He's got to be feeling good about this. He can't let he can't let himself die to something. Even though he's gotta be feeling good about it. Yeah, oh he just tried to, I don't know what he tried to do, jump away maybe, it was a little slow. Alright, he got him. Swing him in the shy Alright. Back in the same spot. Andrew gets a wobble. Some mental damage on George. Yeah, George doesn't have to approach here. He can just hang out, hold on to his lead, make it as hard as possible. But he got a little predictable with what he was trying to do there. Just forward air on the side platform, drop through forward air. So I'm just going to counter that. He played against it a million times. Now it's even. I think George could be... Damn, that was good. I think when George is trying to camp the platforms, I think he could be uh, trying to mix up with movement to the top platform also. Like, he's only mixing up... There you go. So that, like, that gives him more space, and, like, yeah, that even allowed him to get the ICs above him just now. As opposed to hanging out on the side platform, where Andrew, if he knows that top platform's not an option, he can just shut you down. So he might be going to Pokemon. It's just... In, or... I heard Dreamland. Oh, Dreamland. I think that's a smart kind of pick. Because I think Mark's going to have a lot more trouble killing you. Yeah. I think it's a little questionable, though. As opposed to Stadium. Because if George is really committed to this platform camping style, uh, it's just better here, I think. 
but see how she's made. Alright, Andrew got center stage bag. <sighs> Read the jump out after he jab jabbed him. That was kind of cool. It's like a next level read. I went, I think he, yeah. I think when he did the full hop neutral air, he probably went for the, uh, he probably went for the wobble with the jump cancel grab and got a full hop neutral air. Yeah, that might be it. Damn. <laughs> but uh, that is a good read to make, though, because Ices will go for jab grab a lot. And like the way you get out of jab grab is you, you jump away after the jab. It's like just keep throwing them on stage. Alright, see how much attack the shield that could have been a crap. Oh I guess he's gonna have a little more trouble killing the Sopo in this stage too. Yeah. Get more more percent. Like even that jab was valuable. Yeah, he gets now, yeah, like, you get so much value against him. Because you just can't kill it really compared to other stages. Yeah. The more the more percentage Andrew puts on with his Sopo stocks, uh, the more situations he can wobble in. It's like Nana can just be far away. Oh, he's got him. So on the last wobble that happened, I, I, yeah, I don't agree with the pause because he can mess up. He, he could. He's probably not I mean, going to, but... Want, uh, I know just want to be over. I understand it. I just don't agree. George is... Like I said, uh, Ice Climbers have been tilting yeah, George for a Well, Ice Climbers have been tilting George for a while, and this is honestly the best way he's been able to cope with it uh, before it's been... Like, I'm fine with this versus uh, an outburst, you know? Yeah, it's like, I guess... It's like, if you're trying to play optimal, you can just let him do the wobble, but I guess it's the mental. Thing. Yeah, also, do you really want to win because he messed up something that he's executed a million times? You know what I mean? Like, you want to win because you didn't let the Ices get a grab. So there's that, too. All right, pretty free edge guard. How did he fall so fast? Is that his... He's just fast fell. Oh, yeah. Oh. I didn't think Alright. So? Oh, he just runs in. That was risky. Yeah. He's just hanging out in his shield. Yeah. He knows he's, he can't punish him. So George uh, isn't trying to platform camp this game, which is what he saw so much success with the last couple games. But I guess he really can't. He doesn't have a lead. So Andrew will just hang out. Doesn't have to approach. I think it's a little harder for Mar to platform camp if Ices are just hanging out on the stage. It kind of forces Mar to choose an option. Well, yeah. Yeah, in this situation, Marth has to... Uh-oh, Andrew might be dead. At the very least, Nana's dead. Okay. So, we'll see how much... Maybe no percent. Oh, that's huge for George. Oh, no, he let him go. Yeah, he knew he was going to get that on the stage, I, think. I don't know. If he... It was kind of tricky. It was close. All right, he got it anyway. Maybe. All right, now he's gonna roll up. That was scary. Getting a little crowd. All right, so now George is going back to the platform camping because he knows he doesn't. He knows Andrew doesn't have that lead anymore. So now. See, I think he wasn't playing the platforms earlier. I think he might have just been trying to mix Andrew up. Because he's been playing the platforms well, pretty well the past few years. It just wasn't possible for him yeah. to play the platforms because he was behind. So you can't you can't camp well, when I you're mean, behind because there's no there's no uh, there's nothing making George come to him if he's or Andrew come to him if if Andrew's winning, right? Because if it times out, Andrew wins. So like you're always. If, if you're in a situation with a floaty where you're thinking about camping him out, you're always thinking about the percentage and how likely is it that... Oh, that was a dangerous F smash. Andrew grabs. Might have been better to down smash him now that I'm looking at the percent. Oh, jeez. Getting a little hungry for it. That forward smash might cost him. Lost a lot of stage. Alright. He's got him above him. Is he going to try and save her? Oh, he tried. She's still out there. He's got it. Oh! Andrew doesn't George opt to go opting, save her. George is opting to take center stage. Uh-oh. No down throw. <gasps> oh, 
And he's doing some weird stuff. He might be a little flustered here. Alright, so, just a side B. I don't know about that weak up air. I think he's just up to maybe. A new short works. Andrew might be dead. Yeah, he's just gotta grab ledge. Yep. Alright, did you, George? <laughs> that was stupid close. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.